All right, here we go. We're back in place again. Uh, we're gonna do a little demo again. Uh, this time we're gonna do a demo around splitting a Power BI file into the model and thin report. So we'll just start off here. This was a question that was asked by Alex Powers. No, no, it was um, Alex Dupler, the other Alex. <laughs> Alex Dupler just asked the question. So Alex, I'm gonna answer your question. We're gonna do a quick split file here. So first things first, um, you'll need to go grab the business ops tool. So that is a Power BI tool that Power BI Tips makes and maintains all of the external tools for you. Uh, there is one new external tool that was just recently added and it's called Split Power BI File. It's made by Steve Campbell here. Uh, here's the file it's called Split PBIX File. And what this will do is it'll take a single PBIX file and take out the model and leave you with the report. So it actually make, will make two files when you're done. So let's minimize that. After you install Business Ops, you'll be able to add the Business Ops tool and the external tool you're looking for is called Split PBIX File. And this is the file just to show you that there's a model here and attached to it. This is my data model. And I have a couple pages in the report, page one, two, three, and four, where I have visual elements on the page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close out of this Power BI file. I'm gonna bring up another Power version of Power BI Desktop. I'm gonna navigate over to my external tools and I'm gonna split the PBX file button. And what it will do is it'll allow me selecting the report that I just had. So I'm gonna go up here to my desktop, select the report and hit open. What this will do is it'll split the file and it does it so fast that I actually have to refresh my screen here. So I'll hit F, refresh here, refresh my screen. So now I have two files. And this is as fast, this is the fastest way of doing this that I'm aware of. There's a uh, Power BI, my report page, and it has a little underscore here called underscore model, meaning this is the data set only. And then this other half here is um, the report side. So now that we've split the file, I'll minimize this. And now we're going to open up just the data model so we can see what that looks like. Opening up the data model side. We'll see that we have no report pages. Those are all now missing and gone, but only the data model elements are available. So we have the fact sales, dimension country, fact, date, all these other options. So this is our data model that we had previously. It's all working. So that's the data model side. And now we have the thin report. So now if I open this up, we now have the thin report. And so now this is all broken because there are no visuals attached. So in, in this case, uh, there's no data model. So if I open up the fields well, there is no data model here. So in order for us to be able to get this to work, we have to understand what is the data model or what is the uh, data model coming from in this local model here. So this is a model where we have fact sales. So what I like to do is I like to go to my external tools. I go into DAX Studio. And then inside DAX Studio, we have the ability of finding out the Power BI connection. So it's local host down here at the very bottom. So this tells me the local connection. And the reason I like this tool is there's a little copy button at the end here. So when I click the copy button, it'll copy to my clipboard. So clicking that, it tells me right here in the little message window, copied the server name to my clipboard. Excellent. So now we can minimize this window. We can get rid of him. And we'll go back over to our thin report. So minimize this again. And we'll go back into our report. And this time we will go to connect data. We're going to go to analysis services. I'm going to drop in my connection name of local host, putting that right here in the server name. I'll hit OK. What this will do is this will connect to my local data model. I'll leave it on my Windows and my normal use my credentials here. And then I'll click connect here at the bottom. Clicking connect will bring you right into my data model. There it is, model, and hit OK. And there we go. Now I have a thin report and a data model connected together. So that is a very easy way of being able to split a single Power BI file into two files where you have the thin report and the data model. And then when you're ready to uh, revamp this one, so I'll save this one again. Control save that one, save this, and then I'll close out of the thin report. Once you're done, you can go ahead and publish your data model into the service. So you would go back to the home ribbon, publish this into PowerBI.com. So I'll just let that, you know, be what it is. And then when you go back here, you can go back to Power BI Desktop. And now what you would do is you would strip out the connection from that thin report and repoint that thin report to the service. So you would use another tool here called Hot Swap Connections. And in Hot Swap Connections, you'll go in here and you'll remove the connection from the thin report that we just made. 
you'll hit remove and then you would use one of these options overwrite and remove the live connection or copy the report and then remove the connection so we are modifying the power bi files this will potentially break your file uh, i've been using this for months now and i feel pretty confident that it's in pretty top top shape nothing's changed or breaking my files but there's always the possibility that you could damage a file by doing this so that's why there's a warning at the bottom but if you use the overwrite and remove connections it will then strip out the connection from that file so that's what i'm going to click here I'm going to go back to my thin report, click open again. And what it will do now is it will now go back into that file. It'll then strip out any data connections for me. And again, it'll look like all the visuals are broken, which is not a problem. We have over here in the fields well, there is now no data fields here on the right hand side. And now what you would do is you would go back and you would then connect to a Power BI data set. So this is where you'd go into powerbi.com and you would then pick out something out here. Oh, actually, I have a couple out there already. So let me just grab one. I'll grab these and hit create. And when you create the connection to the data set in the service, bada bing, all your data comes back and everything's happy again. And now you can publish this report to the service and you've been able to retool the connection from the local data model you've been working on and publish this into the service. Alex, I hope you liked that a quick tutorial on how we use these external tools. Uh, I think the key ones you're going to want to look for is hot swap and split PBX file. Hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks.